Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sordaz here. Today, I'm going to do a very quick guide on how to maximize the leaning mechanic in Battlefield 5. This is a tad harder to pull off on console, but I recommend when you learn to maximize it that it can be a useful tool. Some, of course, may seem like common sense, but it's always good to remember the fundamentals and always a friendly reminder of how to improve your skills. We will cover very quickly when to utilize the lean mechanic, what keybinds on PC and console are best, skill talents that will help a ton on the lean mechanic, We'll show examples of what this looks like when leaning and also hitboxes. And then of course, how to maximize it when cutting corners. So first, when you utilize the lean, obviously you never utilize it when you're just out in the open. As the lean back and forth is not just fast enough, but you can't really spam it. They've obviously nerfed it and they slow it down the more you press it. Also, the movement is not that drastic and with the TTK, it's probably not gonna save you. It's just gonna be a good meme. It is best to utilize the lean mechanic in close quarters and when slicing the pie. So obviously what you've already seen is kind of just a good example. Close quarters, small hitboxes, just the overall theme to remember. Keybinds on PC or button mapping. So I personally like to utilize Q for left and then E for right. This matches other games like Player Known Battlegrounds, um, Rainbow Six Siege. I recommend keeping this consistent with what you utilize in other games. Don't try reinventing the wheel. And of course on controller, do the very same thing. Remember I always preach consistency. For console, you're gonna lose out on some of your uh, button mapping. So move something you're just really not gonna use that much. An example would be if you're not always gonna be squad leader and you're always playing with your friends, maybe you just remove the ability to call in a V1. Just something to kind of keep in mind, but you know, sometimes in other games, you utilize the bumpers as just an example of leaning left and right. Now for the skill talents that help out the most is really to utilize the ones that increase movement speed. It also increases your movement while leaning. Because the lean slows your movement while going back and forth, it can also really help you a ton when weaving in and out of those corners, but only if you cut the corners properly and don't expose your whole hitbox, otherwise the lean is just really a waste. So if you're moving fast and you just can't really control the momentum and you're not having good crosshair placement, so you're moving faster when cutting a corner and you're just exposing your whole hitbox and it's just a complete waste. You really have to practice this and do repetition where you're cutting it properly. I'm going to show that later in the video as an example. Now how to maximize. This is where people claim they know how to use it and they still fail, as we discussed earlier. It's something in, even in other games that really makes and breaks encounters and people just honestly suck at using it properly. Let's show some quick examples again of the hitbox. Notice that when cutting the corner without the lean, they can clearly see your legs and your whole bottom and the option of what to hit is obviously larger. When you utilize the lean properly, you'll just see your head. The downside is obviously when you lean is that they've only see your head. So if they have a good shot, then obviously they're going to kill you. But you have to get the jump on them and anticipate where they're going to be. That's why you utilize the lean. You don't really utilize it if they already know you're at. You would reposition, then utilize the lean elsewhere. Also, if you lean out and you expose your whole body, well, again, it's a complete waste because then your whole body is again appearing. Understand your hitbox. Utilize what we've been showing on screen as a big example. Don't make the rookie mistake. I see people claim, oh, it's easy. Why explain this? This is common sense. It's because people still make this mistake and it's why a video like this is really important. So by cutting the corner, you want your crosshair perfectly lined up with the edge of the wall as shown here or the edge of a rock or the edge of anything. The edge is your friend, so use it. So you cut the edge of the corner as precisely as possible that is at least going to give you a comfort to where you're going to shoot next. It gives you the smallest hitbox as you cut the corner. And remember the harder part of maximizing is keeping good placement and being ready to react once you see somebody. Or if they happen to move out of the site, then you would have to, of course, at that point, utilize a drag shot or a flick shot or correct the aim quickly. If your crosshair is all sort of whack, then cutting the corner not correctly is just going to get you killed. It's such a basic thing, but again, it's really just common sense. And if you do it wrong, then obviously it's going to get you killed. And again, by repetition, you're going to get better and you're going to get the jump on the enemy. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I try to keep it direct and straight to the point and for your viewing pleasure. And I'll see you guys next time.